Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMPE or SCPM Self Paced Paper. I'm Siyanu Jalota. We are trying to be doing every possible thing for this subject. Okay, you are seeing the videos for MCQs from the module. Once those are done, then we are going to be doing everything from Board of Studies portal. My intention is that you should be doing logic of each and everything. And one request to everybody, the moment you start your CA final, please clear off your self-paced papers. That will help you to concentrate on the remaining six subjects for a longer period of time. Don't waste your lot amount of time in giving your first uh, paper of self-paced. Okay, in case somebody wishes to be enrolling for the complete course, then the link is there in the description. Once you click, the course will automatically start. There is nothing to be done from our side or from your side. Just enroll, the courses will start. Okay. So let's do this chapter. This chapter is all about management of emerging business models. What are emerging business models? Think it of normally around say 50 or 60 years ago, all the businesses were called as a traditional business, at least looking from the present day's angle. You start away with the business, okay, you try to invest the money, then over a period of time, demand will start to be coming. But there are new categories of business. You will think of something like Geo. How much time did it actually take for Geo to become, say, number one? Not many years. A company like, say, Flipkart, a company like, say, Amazon, they captured the market, okay? And if you'll start to be thinking, in beginning, they were very light models. That is, they didn't require huge amount of investment investment here as such. But something was new in them. This chapter tries to be talking of all such revolutionary businesses only. Okay. Let's see whatever MCQ we all have today. Grammarly. I don't know how many of you all have used it. I use it a lot basically to find out the mistakes of the module. Okay. So uh, Grammarly is an American cloud-based typing assistant. It reviews spelling, grammar, punctuation, clarity, engagement, and delivery mistakes in English text. Detects the plagiarism and suggests the replacements for the identified errors. Okay, if you've used uh, Grammarly, it is far better than the spell check that is there in Microsoft Word. It also allows the users to customize uh, their style, tone, and context-specific language. It offers two plans for the individuals. The first one, free for individuals that offers the basic writing suggestions and tone detection, grammar, spelling, punctuation, conciseness, and tone detection. That is a model that I have, free one. And then a premium plan for the individuals that offers the clarity, vocabulary, and tone improvements. Everything in free, full sentence, rewrites, word choice, tone suggestions and citation. So obviously the premium plan has far more features. It has everything that is there in the free plan plus many extra things. You might be knowing also that YouTube also has a similar kind of a feature. So if you take the YouTube, the normal one, okay, the ads and all will be coming. If you go for YouTube uh, premium, then ads will not be coming in that model. Okay. Grammarly business relying on which of the business models? Okay, so get me the four options, please. Four options. First one, it is free. It's not completely free. There is a premium version also. Then premium. It's not completely premium. It has a free version also. Subscription. Uh, not compulsory. It is not necessary for you to pay something every month. None of these. Okay, it's an easy one. We have discussed this thing in class also. And many times I have spoken about this. So in case you know the answer, comment below, please. Okay, now uh, to give you many examples, you have something like say Amazon Music also. It has a free system whereby ads come. Okay, Amazon makes the money from the ads. They have a premium or a subscription model also whereby I'll pay something every month and I can listen to the music. One extra feature, I can download the music for offline uh, listening also. Same way in Grammarly, they all have a free version. Now what happens is in free version, the amount of features that you all have is slightly to limited. Okay. In case you want all the features, then you start to be paying. Such kind of models are called as freemium models. It's a merger of free and premium that starts to get combined in form of a freemium model. Okay. So therefore, uh, it is not free. It is not premium. It is freemium model. Uh, there are many companies who offers the freemium model, many apps that are there, many apps that are there, okay, on the Play Store or App Store, they all have a freemium kind of a version. So therefore, if you download the app, you want to be playing a game or something, okay, then the basic game in this case will be like, you know, free only. But in case you want extra features, you want this, that up and so on, then you can be like, you know, paying the money and getting the advanced version. All such things are called as freemium versions. So freemium 
Ethereum is not one of the four options. So therefore, it should be none of these. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct one. I will see you next time. Till then, happy learning. Bye. Take care.